Peace. What up, good people? This is Gif here. And today, we're going to do an audit. Now, I know, you know, people associate audit with taxes. But we're going to do a YouTube audit and a website audit. And the artist that I've chosen to audit is Ali Tamanik. Now, this is a guy, a young dude from out in Arizona, man. He's a rapper. He's an entertaining dude, man. He got some fun videos on YouTube, man. He's great personality, great energy, really good videos, has a nice following, you know. But it's just a few things that he's not doing, you know, that could be negatively impacting his efforts online. Now, I'm going to teach you guys what you should be doing through what I think he should be doing. Now, take, take into consideration that I don't have, you know, complete access to all of his data and everything. So there's only but so much I can suggest based on what I see and what I know, you know. But here we go. Now, we're looking at right now a video on his channel. Ali Tamanique Friday Flow EP episode rather episode 31 no rush you know now you see he starts the video off with basically an advertisement for his new merchandise you know and he directs people to go to his website you know to buy his merchandise now you look at this and you say well this is excellent you know He's telling people, hey, I got merchandise for sale. Here's where you can get it. But here's where he's making a mistake. No annotations. No cards. Now, for those that don't know what cards are or annotations, annotations are like notes and YouTube. And YouTube allows you to use annotations to direct people to your website or or to an online store like iTunes or to a fundraising site like Kickstarter, you know, and you can embed that within the YouTube video itself, where if you want to change the link, you can change it, you know, alter it, change the color, you know, try different combinations to get people to respond to it, where this is static and it's stuck in the video and it can't change no matter what. He would have to take it down and upload a new video. And cards, cards are... I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's a little small circle with an eye that, that, that sits at the top of the video in the top right-hand corner, and it pops out, you know, and says something like, new merch available, and you would click on it, and it would open into a graphical display where it would have an image of the shirt with uh, uh, what, what you would call uh, a call to action, like, oh, get custom shirts now or whatever with a link to buy. Now, aside from the fact that these things exist within YouTube, you know, and they're hyperlinked, because that's another thing, these, this text is a hyperlink, in order to get to his website, you would have to open up a tab and manually type the URL into the, the new browser, you know, or you would have to leave this video and type the URL into the browser, you know, like he had, he also has his web, his URL and his description box, you know, and you have to cut and paste that, you know, and, and put it in your, in your browser to get to his website, you know. Now, in addition to that being more cumbersome, when it comes to attribution, right, and giving credit for a visit, Typing a URL directly into the browser will have a hit to his website show up as direct traffic, which means that he wouldn't know or see that that traffic came from YouTube. It would just show up as direct. So let's say somebody bought his song from his website from YouTube. The way he's doing it, he wouldn't know that that sale came from YouTube. It would just look like somebody typed his URL into their browser, went to his website, and bought the music. So he wouldn't know 
that YouTube is driving sales to his site. You know, now with annotations and and uh, cards, it would tell him that. You know, all of the all of the traffic that come from those things would be traceable back to YouTube. You know, and he would know that that's where the traffic came from. And in addition to that, you know, using annotations and cards provides him with extra data on the clicks. Like he can go into his YouTube analytics and see whether the people who are clicking on his links are subscribers or non-subscribers. He can see whether the people who are clicking on his links are located within the United States or another country. You know, he can see that type of information. He can see how long people who watch his, who, 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 who click on his links spend watching his videos, you know? And that type of information would allow him to better target his videos, to know who's most likely to respond to his advertising, you know? Now, another aspect of attribution is link tagging, which is another tactic he he should be utilizing now what link tagging is is basically just small information that you put within a url that tells you where the url was located so he could put like information in the url that tells him that the link was placed in the description box he could put information in the url that would tell him that the the, the link was placed within the video he could put UR information in a URL that tells him that a link was posted to Twitter or Facebook. You know, like he could put uh, YouTube description freestyle fr Friday flow episode 31. And when somebody clicked in, on that link, it would show up in his analytics as YouTube description box. Friday Flow episode 31 and he would know that that click came from his description box on the video Friday Flow episode 31 you know and that would tell him where people are clicking his links like where are the most effective locations that he could put a link where people are going to respond to it you know so he can know okay definitively people click on my links most when they're placed in the description box or people click on my links most when they're placed within the video, you know, and he could adjust his tactics accordingly. Now, in order for any of this stuff to matter, he has to have Google Analytics installed on his website to begin with, which I don't know whether he does or he doesn't, but he needs to have that installed in his website. Google Analytics allows you to track traffic to your website and attribute the traffic to a source, you know, like Twitter or Facebook or YouTube, you know, and it allows you to do conversion tracking. Now, for those that don't know, a conversion is basically a completed goal, like somebody visiting your website and downloading your album or buying your music or signing up for your mailing list, or watching the video for a certain amount of time, or sitting on the site for a certain amount of time, or visiting a certain page. That's a conversion, you know? And he can have conversion tracking install, installed on his website with his Google Analytics, and that would track a, a, a hit from a source all the way through to a sale, where if somebody came from Friday, the, the, the video Friday Flow episode 31, to his website and bought his album he would see that that sale came from youtube and that video specifically to know that wow that video drove 10 sales to my site maybe i should make more videos like that what did i do in that video that appealed to people you know and he can use that information to better understand what his audience responds to now with annotations and cards and link tagging and Google Analytics on his website he can find out things he needs to know like how many sales does he get from YouTube which part of YouTube drives sales which of his YouTube videos drive sales how many views does it take to generate a sale 
what percentage of his subscribers are becoming members of his club you know because he's doing this campaign where he's trying to get you know a hundred thousand people to join his fan club you know so he can go on tour and tour for these people you know but in order to do that you know in order to to really you know be able to set goals and know how far or close he is to achieving that goal he has to know those things he has to know you know what's his convert what his conversion rates are and then he can say okay well here's how many views i need to get per video to reach that number here's how many subscribers i need to get that number you know right now he's more or less and and i can't say definitively you know this is not something i can say definitively but the way that things look it's kind of like he's working more so in the dark you know with a lot of that information so ali if you're watching and you're not doing some of this stuff i know some of it you're not doing but other things that I mentioned that I don't know if you're doing, like Google Analytics and conversion tracking. And man, please, brother, please take advantage of those things. Do it, man. I want to see you win. If you're interested in getting an audit of what you got going on, man, you can check out payusnomind.info slash audit. Hit me up. This is GIF signing off. Pay us no mind. Peace.